All right, pardon the wind noise because it's uh, windy, about 20, 30 miles an hour gusts. As you can see, if you see how quickly, oh, you can't see how fast those are turning because of the frame here in the camera. But if you can see how fast those are spinning right there, the tops, they're spinning like uh, they have a motor on them. But we're back here, and this was where the leak was. And you see, I spared no expense. I used uh, 56 56 percent silver silfos I'm not a cheap guy and I have the what is it um, 90 and I have hundred percent silver too for making jewelry uh, so the guys I always have guys say oh that's too expensive you know what if the guys say stuff like this is too expensive you don't want to do business with those guys um, use the best or go home that's what I say and that's what my dad said too don't do business with cheap guys so as you can see here, I have to get in close there. My son uh, sanded off the galvanize off the steel here. And uh, he cleaned us. We degreased this. My son went over and just did a quick rinse on the whole unit. And uh, then he sanded off the galvanized coating on the steel so the silver will fit, uh, stick to it. So now the copper and the steel are one solid piece so now i'm going to pressure test this and uh, we're going to come back to this and see how it does under pressure test i have it hooked up i had nitrogen flowing in it and we're going to see how this is now you can see there's a lot of there's damage starting everywhere we got corrosion the salt because we have salt around here we got a little bit down here and here it's just starting and this is a three core as you can see up here one two three we got three cores and when you're in the salt weather up here it would be good if these things were epoxy coated or you know if they had real hot dip galvanized and they punch the holes out first and then hot dip these plates with uh galvanize them then they wouldn't have this problem but because they only do a cheap, thin electroplating of galvanize on here, and then they come in after and they stamp it out, and that cuts away the galvanize. Right where you cut through the metal, you have just removed the galvanize, and if you see the edges here, they're all rusting. So those at those edges are exposed to the copper. So you have a, tr a direct galvanic electrolyte with the salt in the air, Every night here in San Francisco, we have the fog that comes in with the salt and you have a direct connection of water droplets coming over here, eating away at the copper. This is a just set up to destruct. It's self-destruction. And no manufacturer should be putting out these header, the tube, uh, God damn it, I'm a loss for words right now. But the sheet metal here that they use should be hot dip galvanized. All these ends here, should be sprayed with either epoxy or zinc. All right, I'll see you guys.